copy and complete the table of values for y equals 2x squared minus x minus 4 for the range of x starting from minus 3 to 3 inclusive. What we have to do to complete this table is to substitute the values of x into this equation and find what y is. Let's do that right away. If we substitute minus 2, minus 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus minus 2 is 10, and 10 minus 4 is 6. Minus 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. 1 square is 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. 2 square is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 3 square is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 minus 3 is 15. 15 minus 4 is 11. That is all for this. Then the second question says, using a scale of 2cm to 1 unit on the x-axis and 2cm to 2 units on the y-axis, draw the graph of y equals 2x squared minus x minus 4 for the range of values of x from minus 3 to 3. When we say a scale of 2cm to 1 unit, what do we mean? So, in your graph, when you count five little boxes, that is what we call 1 cm. 10 little boxes is 2 cm. So for every 10 boxes is 1. That is for the x axis. For the next 10 boxes is 2. For the next 10 boxes is 3. We ask for the y axis. For every 10 boxes you count is 2. The next boxes, 10 boxes you count is 4. The next boxes you count is 6, and so on. So let's do that. If this is 1 cm, so this is 2 cm. So for the y axis, every 10 boxes, 2, every 10 boxes, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yes, minus 2, minus 4. Now, you may wonder, why is this graph like this? Why is this x axis not at the center? It's very good that you know that before you sketch your graph, you need to check the values of y. The highest values of y is 17, and the least values of y is minus 3. So we have less values at the negative part of y than at the positive part. That is why the x axis is stated below for the x axis the negative and the positive part are even so it's just symmetry that's why it's at the center so we need this to be able to put this thing in the right perspective so for the right x axis 2 cm to 1 unit 1 cm 2 cm this is 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So this is our y axis. This is our x axis. And this is our origin, 0. Now, from the graph, when x is minus 3, y is 17. So if we trace it, so this will be here. We are trace it. x minus 2, y6. x minus 2, y6. y6. So this is here. x minus 1, y minus 1. x minus 1, y minus 1. So this is here. X0, Y minus 4. So this is here. At the intercept. X1, Y minus 3. X1, Y minus 3. So this is here. 
x2 y2 s2 y2 this is here and x3 y11 x3 y11 this is here so the next thing we we'll do is to join them together so when joining them for you to get a straight line like my teacher taught me do not breathe you must make sure that at this point you don't have a v but you have a curve you have a curve you have a curve and so you label the graph you drew 2x square minus x minus 4 now this is the graph I tried, I tried, I tried. This is the graph. The question we want to answer is the root of the equation 2x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. So, we are looking for the root of this equation. The root of the equation is the point where this graph cut across the x axis. The point where this graph cut across the x axis. So if we look at this, if you are with your graph, you should be able to read what each boss stands for. For instance, in our x axis where we have 2 cm to 1 unit, it means each boss is 0 0.1. For our y axis where we have 2 cm to 2 unit, it means each boss is 0 0.2. This is about minus 1.2. And this is about 1.6. So the roots of the equation are minus 1.2 and 1.6. The next question is the values of x for which y increases as x increases. This is the point where y is decreasing. But this is the point where y is increasing and s is also increasing. So it is at the turning point, at the critical point here. That is this point. We can use the line of symmetry to get it. That is adding the two roots and dividing by two. Or easily, just the way you find critical points. You can differentiate this to get 4x minus 1 and equate it to 0. Add 1 to both sides. 4x equals 1. Divide both sides by 4. x is 0 0.25. This is the point where x start to increase. This is the point where the graph start to increase. That means it is about... 0 0.25 that is the point where x start to increase and y increases another way you can do it is to add the two roots of the equation so if we go by line of symmetry it will be minus 1.2 plus 1.6 over 2 we add this this is 0 0.4 over 2 and this is 0 0.2 almost the same thing we got so the values of s for which y increases as s increases will be 0 0.2 to 3 which is the highest value in the boundary or 0 0.2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 these are the values of s in which y increases as s increases the minimum point of y the minimum point of y is the value of y at this point another way you can get it is to substitute 0 0.25 into this equation to get it and when you substitute it y will be 2 bracket 0 0.25 all square minus 0 0.25 minus 4 when you do that you have minus 4.125 
And of course, when you see it, it's about minus 4.1. So the minimum point of Y is minus 4.1. Thank you.